This podcast is a part of the Royal Wee Network. Spit on me. Man, it's always something goddamn something at this house. You know, like I told you, I was always dealing with <laughs> mosquitoes before. Mm -hmm. Like a fucking a flurry of mosquitoes all the time. Now I got gnats, man. Do you have the same situation? Yeah, I was having gnats and now I'm, I'm fighting mosquitoes again because I have my... Where it's warmed up a little bit, I've had my window open again, so I guess they're coming in around that somehow. But all right, but I've been zapping them. Yeah, every night I kill like a dozen. Well, I got a couple of house plants, and they're all just these gnats like live in the dirt. I guess they eat the fungus or something. And I looked it up online, but dude, <laughs> honestly, there are hundreds of them. Yeah, and I got like like vinegar traps and stuff, and there's all kinds of dead ones floating, and it's driving me goddamn crazy. They get in my mouth and my eyes and shit when I'm trying to sleep. Holy shit. Yeah, that's nuts. We we get them sometimes in the, like in the summertime, in the, you know, they'll, they'll get around the trash. Like if you throw away a piece of fruit or something. All right. And there's just, and, and it's because it's basically the fucking jungle here. <laughs> so like, you fucking it's jungle you, rules it is like you can't any any type of something like that I always put it in like a like a ziploc bag and put it in the freezer and then whenever I, it gets full of like organic matter I, I i take it out with the trash because it's like if you put it in the garbage you could have like a fucking banana peel or something that you toss in the garbage and before the garbage gets full enough to even take out you've got a swarm of insects so you've got to like now where do they come from i don't know they just it's like they just how do they, get, how do they get there in the first place i don't know man in the same way they just like magically spawn are there are there fly eggs like on our produce and stuff that we're just eating <laughs> I don't know, but but it's like one the one of them gets in, but it's literally like you can throw something away, like anything, like you cook, like and it's stuff you wouldn't even think, like the end of an onion or something, you know what I mean? And like you toss it in the trash, and the next day there there's literally like a hundred little gnats in the garbage, and they're like, what the fuck? Yeah, man, that's my whole existence right now, man. Dude, I'll I'll, I'll go in there my plants and just hit the pot with one of those electric tennis racket things, mm -hmm. and it goes, <laughs> it just zaps the shit out of them man oh, that's crazy and they keep i got i have a a, a bunch of kiwi slices and a glass of water with a little bit of soap to catch them mm -hmm. and dude it's filled it's you can't even see the top of the water it's all covered with dead gnats yeah that's not that, that, i made one of those traps earlier like in the summer because it's the same way like somebody put something in the garbage in there within a day or so there were so many fucking gnats in there it was insane like in the kitchen and i, I made it's ridiculous yeah <laughs> But here's a here's a hot tip. Uh -huh. uh, I bought a little bit of that apple cider vinegar yeah. to, for for my trap. You know, put a little bit of that bottom of a glass, fill it up with ice, put some uh, seltzer water in there. Yeah, that's a nice treat. That's a nice treat. It is the apple cider. I like those. They got those like cider apple cider drinks here that I, I like. That took a long time for me to get used to because I had never. Me too. <laughs> I, I agree. Hit you with flavor. Yeah, and it's a weird flavor because it is like vinegary, and there's something in your head at first where you're like. I don't know if I should be drinking this. Yeah, your brain goes, no, pour then. <laughs> yeah, like, what is this? And then, but yeah, but it like grows on you and after a while. And yeah, I like it now. Yeah, apparently it's good for you. Yeah. Do you think when we go back to America where our body's going to be like, bah, <laughs> disgusting? <laughs> Maybe. Because, if, I mean, you can still get into some garbage over here. And they're like some, there's all about some fried chicken. You can, but not on the level, Not on man. the level. Not on the level. I agree. You got to kind of search it out. Places here, they think, they, they think, they're like, oh, we know. We look at our, look at our shit. <laughs> don't know <laughs> and the only thing that i've run into that even compares are things like the uncle phil cheesesteak the cheesesteak place that's themed like fresh prince of bel-air oh hell yeah like that that place is a goddamn grease bomb it's like it's what it, it really is you're like oh there there's a taste of home <laughs> Well, what they do here, what they do here that America doesn't do right is like you get your money's worth here in a way that it's not really like you don't like at all you can eat buffet in America. It's kind of bullshit. Yeah. But there's that one here that's that's yeah. it's called Food Paradise. We've talked about it maybe before. Uh huh. It's the best. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like a, it's not bullshit. No. It's like straight up like you would order any of those entrees at any other restaurant. But it's all you can eat. Yeah. Yeah. There. It's like a. I've never been to those big like Las Vegas buffets, but I imagine that's what those. Because I've seen stuff about yeah. them where it's, where they're like really expensive, but it's like everything is like entree quality, like it, like everything. But Hi, it, I'm entree quality. <laughs> Let me tell you about Las Vegas buffets. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. I'm, I'm Sam. I'm Nate. <laughs> and I'm Andre Quality. Well, if you guys are listening for the first time, what we normally do is we take headlines uh, and we read them. Yep. We read the headlines, but you know, we just guess about what the articles could be about. Because you know what? Facts just get in the way. If you guys want to send us headlines, and you should. You guys could do at Royal Weekend. 
at Twitter, uh, royalwecast at gmail.com or live at twitch.tv slash royalwecast, which sometimes we go live, sometimes we don't. Like today, I forgot. <laughs> We're already in it. <laughs> it's one of those days. Mama said, you know what Mama say? Mama said every day is like these. <laughs> Mama did say. <laughs> <laughs> I like how when I say Andy Shetty, you go, eh. <laughs> <laughs> eh. I don't know why that's just uh, one of those stupid things we started doing and then I just do it. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm in it. I'm into it. Okay, okay, let's let's get some. I'm I'm going big today. I'm gonna I'm gonna mm. find some stuff that's gonna because I'm I'm feeling a little bit lethargic. I want to try to get a little bit. Of, I'm gonna get a little pep. I'm gonna get a little pep. Let me find some some peppy grease. It's been a gloomy day, man. Been gloomy and rainy. I feel you. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I think sometimes sometimes it takes. Sometimes you gotta. Let me see here. Let me see here. Let me see. <laughs> I don't know what you gotta do. Sometimes you. <laughs> but sometimes you just got it. You gotta eat the beans and wear the jeans. <laughs> Okay, okay, I got it. All right. This isn't uh, the sex goo drawer. Nah, we've not opened that one for a minute. Yeah, it's sticky. Yeah, cr- get crusted over. <laughs> hey, man, get this. Listen to this one. Uh-huh. Couple chained themselves together for three months in ultimate test of love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a test of love. Yep. It, the, absolutely. I mean, it's one where they say, like, travel with someone, and that's how you can really find out if, if you're compatible, if you can, like, go on a, a, a trip and, like, you know, for like a like a vacation. Right. You know what I mean? Chain yourself together <laughs> for three months. I mean, that's that'll do it. <laughs> and if you're looking to get personal achievements, if you're looking to unlock the records, <laughs> just chain. I don't think I could last a week. Cha- yeah, chain to anybody. Because after how long of a chain? Exactly. Because I mean, yeah. Because I mean, what are they? They're sitting there looking on, looking at you while you're taking a burl. Yeah. You know. I mean, if you're talking like a like a two or three foot chain, no way. I'd gnaw my arm off, man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's a because it all sounds like fun and games until, like, like you said, you're just like, man, I'm into you and everything, but like, you're just going to sit there while I take a shit. <laughs> I bet you that sucks right away. Yeah. I bet you that's not even fun after the first day. Especially if you, if you chain someone to your arm, like it's your arm to arm chained. Mm-hmm. God, that would drive you nuts. Yeah, I agree. That's, I mean, that's, well, I mean, did they make it? <laughs> did, we, we don't know. We, we, <laughs> did, they, did they make it? <laughs> Well, we're hearing about it. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, really what this should read as should be in the, the crime drawer. <laughs> Man kills woman after being chained to her for three days on her. And it was her idea. I'm just going to throw that out there. Be sexist. It was her idea. If, if you love me, you'll chain yourself to me. <sighs> All right. <laughs> the ultimate test of love. <laughs> the ultimate. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think like if the chain was long enough, would like imagine if you and I were chained together, right? Yeah. I'm not going no three months, but imagine if we were chained <laughs> together for say three days, mm-hmm. right? And the chain is long enough that it can go in the bathroom. I don't have to go in the bathroom with you because that's a deal breaker, man. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen the way I, you've seen the way I eat. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants. Nobody wants any part of that. What do we do at the end of that? The people go, yeah. And why did you boys do that? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But and the thing is, how? What's the? We love each other. <laughs> what's the? Pr- but what's the proof? I mean, what's the proof that they actually did that? Because we could just blogs. I guess yeah. You, it's got to be Instagram. It's all that they Instagrammed it every day. But even then, unless you've got almost twenty four hour footage, it's hard to believe that you pulled it off. Because you could just take it off and be like, all right, I'm gonna go take a shit, and when I come back, I'll, I'll chain myself back <laughs> up, and then. Well, it could be rules, man. I mean, was is it any less of a test of love if there's a like a shit clause? <laughs> A shit clause can go. A, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they can go a long way in a te- in a test of love. <laughs> I think every listen, it, listen. I don't know a lot about the, the nothing in this world, but a shit clause can go a long way yeah. if you're trying to test love. If you're trying to test love. A shit clause can have a lot of a lot of uh, implications. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and it's sort of the same vein as this story. I got another headline. Same thing in sex goo. Police order man to spend three days with family, three days with girlfriend, and take one day off. Okay. Three days with family, three days with girl. That I mean, what country is that in? I mean, I bet that could be in foreign lands too. Because that doesn't sound like something they're pulling off in America. <laughs> you know, you've got the- yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe India or something. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. somewhere where they're like, well, I mean, we all get it. We're all men here, right? <laughs> We're pushing that hard this one already. I know, I know. (laughs) (laughs) Three days with fam. What was it? Three days with family. Three days with girlfriend, and one day off. Yeah, just take a day off. Like, yeah, that's a day for you. Why was the? Why are the police involved in that? What's the? Where's the? I know. I know. Where do the police come in? Like, what happened? Where the police were like, all right, we're settling this. You think it's that his family and his girlfriend don't get along and. It's got to be that. It's, it's got to be. be that. It's got to be like, yeah, his wife probably like, yeah, I mean, called, you know, like, and the police are like, listen, we'll be fair. Yeah. You get him for three days. 
All right. That's like Old Testament Bible judge stuff. Like, we'll cut the baby in half. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Bible judge has spoken. Bible, Gary Busey, Bible judge. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta watch that. Uh, I'm just gonna say I watched the first episode and it is bizarre. <laughs> can't, can't give it to me. Lay it on me. What? Well, <laughs> what? What is? What are we talking about? What is that? Gary Busey, pet judge. Sure. What? <sighs> it's. It took me a minute. At first, I'm. To be honest, immediately I was like into it, but then I kind of immediately was like, what? I was like, oh, this is stupid. So he's like a Judge Judy for like domestic pet. But stuff? it's not, it's not, even though we've talked before how like all that's kind of set up, you know, yeah. how they're, but they're still the real people, but like the outcomes of the thing, you know, they've, they've tossed it aside to be on that show and then, you know, how it works. Like it's not exactly real, but they're still real people on this show. Everybody's, it's an actor. They're all actors. So it's like. Oh, they're not even really. Yeah. So it's like they're. <laughs> they're cartoon animated. <laughs> yeah, they're cartoons, especially Gary Busey. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the, this just... I don't know what that was. Oh. <laughs> Do you need to go make sure someone didn't just eat shit? Dude, it's not like someone just <laughs> took a dive into a kitchen counter. Yeah, it was loud as hell. Anywho, everybody in it is, they're all actors. Right. The, when I, once I realized it, because really quick, you know, you could tell it like, all oh, these are at, these aren't real people. Like, they're clearly actors. So that kind of took me out of it because I was wanting it to be like real people having to interact with Gary Busey. <laughs> as, I, as I watched it. I mean, that's just <laughs> yeah, a show. Just right people there. talking to Gary Busey. But as I'm watching it, it won me back over by the end of the thing because it seemed like even though all those people were actors and it was clear like they were making, it's kind of like a parody of one of those shows in a way. Like it's, But Busey's like not in on it? That's like he what doesn't know it's not real? But here's the thing. That's what it feels like. And that's what won me over. Oh. That's what won me back because I was like, okay, these are all actors. They're just doing a show. But then the way he would act, I'm like... I don't think he's in on it. Like, I think he thinks he's really a pet judge. <laughs> it's That's what makes it. God. That's what won me back. Because at first I was like thinking it's going to be like a Judge Judy sort of thing with real people. Right. And then immediately I'm like, oh, these are just actors. And they're just try they're just doing like a spoof of one of these shows. And it's not that funny. But <laughs> they didn't spoof it. They didn't spoof it hard enough. It was just. Right. It's not even clever. It's just. It's just they're just doing it. It was just like they're just imitating yeah. it. But then once you realize that it seems like Gary Busey doesn't isn't in on the joke it's you're like oh oh a new level yeah here we go now it now it turns into something else so then so i was on this roller coaster of gary Busey emotions through the first little bit of it because i'm like i'm not into it and i'm like oh wait i think i am and then by the end i'm like yeah i might be on board to watch it so i, I didn't watch any more because i am we need to get we need to get together and, and watch a few of these because it'll, i think it'll be a good time because it seemed it, it was definitely be funnier to watch with other people too because i just, think so yeah i imagine because then we could all just joke about how ridiculous it is yeah but he's like he's top-notch gary Busey in it like he those one like uh, the people wanted <laughs> their dog or something to be buried or the cat to be buried in a pet mausoleum that the all the family pets have been buried in but the husband but the husband wanted to give him a viking funeral so gary Busey, in his wisdom decides that what they'll do is give it a viking funeral and then put the ashes in the mausoleum and he's like that way everybody everybody's happy everybody's <laughs> we saw we, we saw that's a level of insanity like, i i i didn't i <laughs> yeah I knew it was going to be weird, but I didn't know it was. I didn't want to give my dog a Viking funeral against my family's wishes weird. <laughs> yeah. But see, that's the thing is there. It's like all that's written and it's just, you know, they're no, all right. Of course. Doing, right. But of course. It, it didn't feel like he, him coming up with the solution. Either he's the best character actor of our time or what? Excuse me. Better than Michael Keaton. <laughs> better than Michael. Scanny man. You, gotta, <laughs> you, you hush up now. <laughs> you hush. <laughs> <laughs> the, Michael Keaton, he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. Mr. Keaton, he didn't mean it. I, I promise. <laughs> Come for your daughter, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Speaking of, speaking of animals, let's open up the animal drawer. I mean, I mean it okay, seems yeah, appropriate yeah. now. We're talking yeah. about the pet judge. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's open it up. Mm -hmm. uh, internet outraged by Instagram model who tattooed her pet cat. Oh, man. Oof. Now, if you're tattooing a cat, it's got to be one without hair. And it's got to be on some kind of drugs. You can barely pet a cat, let alone, some, yeah. <laughs> let alone tattoo one. Yeah. What? I got a tattoo one time. It, I mean, it's not fun. <laughs> we know about your tattoo. <laughs> it's real, <laughs> God damn it. I believe you. I've, I've always believed you. I went. I tell you, I went to go get that touched up. Did I talk about that on the, on the podcast? Maybe. I think so that you went to get it touched up and they were like, no. The, well, well, the, okay, let's, I mean, there's a, this is like, we got to like lay a lot of stuff out <laughs> to talk about things. Now, the podcast has been going on so long. We're like, well, in the beginning, there were men and there were elves. <laughs> 
Yeah. There were so, there were three kingdoms. <laughs> there was the god of the earth and fire, and he had a tattoo gun. Uh, and everything was okay until the Fire Nation attacked. Uh, uh, yeah, because we don't know. It's like we don't know what we've talked about. I bet if you went back, no. and if you if we paid someone to go listen through all these and like come up with like, hey, go make a Wikipedia and listen to all. Yeah, the, yeah but all of you listening for free, fuck you. It's like keep listening. <laughs> <laughs> like, but people are being paid to listen to this. No. <laughs> no, 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 they, no, they are not. No, they are, no, they are not. I would love that on Wikipedia, but yeah, of all of our like little tangents and like stories we come up with and like uh -huh. the, the canon of the worlds we created. Anyway, <laughs> I got my tax return like a million years ago, probably like 2011, 2012, maybe, mm -hmm. which I mean, that feels like forever ago. A million years. And I used it to buy a, a tattoo. But what I got was just a single pixel. Like I just got a little square. I got the idea because of the show, the show Friends. Phoebe gets a tattoo and she gets afraid of the guns. So she wanted, she tells everyone it's, it's a, uh, a picture of the earth from really as seen from another planet yeah, so yeah. far away. But it's just a blue dot on her arm because she wouldn't, once they touched her with the gun, she panicked. Yeah. And I always thought that was funny. Mm -hmm. Friends. Season three. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and she, uh, so, so I went and I got a little tiny, it's like, it's like maybe two millimeters big. It's a little tiny, tiny, tiny square on my arm, mm -hmm. but I've had it forever and no, it, it looks the same. It's a color of like a freckle. Mm -hmm. So no one believes it's real. I, said, I, I believe for it, but I remember you show, showing that to my, my buddy Chach and he absolutely, like it just enraged him. Yeah. He was like, there's, that's not real. You're full of shit. And he was like, your friend, that's, that's, that's a common reaction. <laughs> he was like, your friend Sam's full of shit. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> and you were like, I know, but what did he say? <laughs> uh, but so I, I live in Taiwan now and I, I just as on a whim, I was walking around and I went to a tattoo shop. And I was like, hey, can I get a tattoo touched up? They're like, sure. And I showed them my tattoo, which is just a little square on my, fr on my forearm. And they're like, get the fuck out of here. They're like, have you been drinking? And I did, I had had a beer with dinner, like a single beer. And they're like, yeah, we're not going to give you a tattoo. You've been drinking. And I was like, but I mean. I ain't been drinking, drinking. <laughs> like, come on. God, he, he goes, I don't believe that's a tattoo. And then the people I was with were like, he's a professional. And he doesn't believe you. And I was like, fuck you. That's super Look at funny. And it's real. That's funny. Yeah. I used to carry the receipt around with me, but those that receipt <laughs> paper doesn't last forever. The friction of my wallet, like wore it away <laughs> it just turns invisible yeah but this lady tattooed her cat oh yeah well i could see i mean it doesn't hurt the cat yeah it does i mean well i mean if you you know you medicated or whatever i mean i understand that it sure it, the pet the cat the cat is uncomfortable uh -huh. right and it it, it it tattoos don't feel nice and it's cruelty to a degree but people <laughs> eat animals <laughs> Yeah, there is that. Like that cat probably lives a pretty good life, and it just had it has a badass tattoo on its ass now. Now it's got a bitchin' tattoo. Yeah, I want I want to know what the, the the yeah. I'd like to know what the tattoo is. Like, what did they give it? Like a, like an anchor, like a sailor anchor that says like you know. No, it's a Dave Matthews logo. <laughs> Dave Matthews. Oh, that would be <laughs> that'd be hilarious. <laughs> that would be abuse. <laughs> well, what was funny is I was I pictured this bald cat with like a motorhead tattoo, and right as I thought that, you said Dave Matthews, and I was like, that's way better <laughs> <laughs> but you see what i'm saying like yeah i get that like you know it hurts the cat whatever but like i, I, <laughs> I get that i've never been one who really understands like I'm, you're not punching the cat you're not like <laughs> yeah i mean it's a it's a it's a gray area i think <laughs> Doing the cat's gray area, Sam. It's a pretty gray area. I mean, it's I guess. Well, you know, we need to you know we need to bring this to. But oh, pet judge the abuse, <laughs> the abuse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is yet another episode. We, didn't we that we were, oh that was the 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 episode that was such a bummer that we're just like imagine picture Gary Busey being on a, a beach in Malibu. <laughs> uh, did I lose you? No, no, I'm still here. I just you you lost me mentally. I don't know where I went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think I was actually picturing it. <laughs> you're just you're, I went. I was on the beach with him. <laughs> you were there with Gary Busey. <laughs> I thought I lost. Sam, where did you go? <laughs> I thought I lost you. I thought our connection dropped out. <laughs> I just ordered a drink, you bastard. You brought me right back to this stupid podcast. <laughs> You're the, 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 the girl from Ipanipa was playing. You're sitting there just looking at Busey and his teeth. <laughs> the sun, the the sun's just brilliant, like reflecting in my eye from his fucking teeth. Life, life is good, Sam. Life is life's real good. And I'm like, hey man, podcast. And you're like, oh, ah, <laughs> oh, back in the fucking mortal realm. God damn it. <laughs> 
Uh, here's another one in Animal Drawer. Man spends over $400 treating limping dog, only to learn it was imitating him. That's really funny. God, I mean, man's best friend, huh? <laughs> Friends like these, huh, dude? Only over 400 bucks. I mean, that's not ridiculous. That's probably, what, one trip to the vet, probably? Probably. Only to learn it was only imitating. How did the how did the vet like ascertain that? Nah, man, you got a limp. I do not. Yeah, so the, so the guy has a limp. And the dog's imitating him. And he, what's funny? That's such a funny circle of events because that dog is like, hey, what are we doing now? Probably on some weird dog empathy level. It was like, oh, I can tell he's hurt. So I'll, I'll walk like him so he doesn't feel bad. And then the guy's like, what's up with this fucking dog? It's hurt. So I got to take it to the bed. And then they're like, <laughs> So it's just this weird loop. I mean, this reminds me of that story of that guy who was blaming the farts on the on the dog, and his wife wasted a bunch of vet m bills on that. Yeah, but they, they wasted thousands of dollars. Yeah, they wasted thousands. Yeah, they would probably get x-rays and stuff. They bet you this vet was like, hey, man, your leg's broken. I've seen this before. Yeah, because I mean- And it must be a smart dog. It can't, it's probably not like a chihuahua or something. No, definitely not. They're just, I mean, they might live moss, but they're not, they're not living with empathy. <laughs> they don't, but there's like, I saw a thing just the other day of, of uh, those like, <laughs> it's like an empathy, uh, oh, what do they call those? I don't, not an empathy dog, but it's like, uh, like a, a, for people who have like uh, PTSD or like anxiety. Yeah, I know what you're uh, uh, Emotional support. No, no, that's just what. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I guess that, that could be that. But people, yeah. people say that about turtles and shit, but they don't like this dog would like actually, <laughs> but, but they're not <laughs> turtles, not doing anything. Collecting flavor. I heard someone describe having a reptile or a turtle as having, a, uh, it's like the same as caring for a plant, just more interesting. And I, that kind of made sense to me. I, I would agree with that. And anybody that I've had, no offense to anybody who has fucking lizards and stuff out there, but <laughs> I love, you say what you say. And then I, no offense from you. I'll defense from me. <laughs> I know you don't like him at all. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm okay with dogs and cats. I am not okay with reptiles. Well, I, once you said that, like that, that does make sense. Like, but I've known people that have have had like spiders and lizards and stuff, and they're still, they're just like. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's just a lizard, and it lives in this tank. But then I've, you know what I mean? And then it's like, that's... <laughs> but did you ask them what it was? I mean, it is what it is. It's just a lizard, and it lives in this tank. Oh, thank you. They didn't treat it like a fucking dog, is what I'm saying. Sure, sure. But then I, I've known people who have, like, pet frogs, and they and they think that the frog has a mind like a like a dog or something. Like, And I'm like, that frog doesn't know what the fuck you're talking about. It's just going right. off impulses. You're giving it bugs. It's jumping. It looks at the lights. Like, it doesn't know... It doesn't, it, 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 like I said, a, a, a dog on some level, certain, like, can, like, feel empathy and shit and can look at a person and be like, oh, man. Apparently, lizards have the same part of their brain that has empathy, but I, I just don't think that, <laughs> I don't think they've been bred long enough. Like, dogs are quite literally bred to be our friends. Yeah. You know, over thousands and thousands of years, we, like, bred them to be cool. Yeah. Lizards aren't like that. Like, uh, maybe we're just not there yet, but I, lizards aren't like that right yeah, now. Yeah, and I, I agree. And like you said, it's like, if you have a lizard, it's the, it, I think it's just, it, it all comes down to the person that owns it because there's it's like that with everybody it's like and, and everything it's like you could have and people are biased you know if you have a fucking dog or a cat of course you think it understands you and you're like oh yeah because i live with the thing and but i think it's one thing but when people have those snakes that could just eat them or their kids and they like i'm thinking what are you fucking around yeah. with why are you fucking around and they like sleep in the bed with them I mean, or didn't we talk like you're asking to get it yeah it's it was like a like a 15 foot python and it would like sleep in the bed with these people and then it like ate their dog or something, and they were like, they could were like, we don't we don't know why it did it. What, what do you mean? It's a yeah. It's like yeah, you know. I, right. I mean, I know that stuff drives me. That I mean, we, we, we there's a there's a comedian who has a, a great joke. If we can remember his name, I can't remember who it was. Remember he talks about he went to this like uh like lizard zoo in Texas, uh -huh. and it was like run just out of this guy's house, and like <laughs> the gay the alligators just like got out while they were there. Yeah. Who? And he like left a bad review about it. Who was that? Was that Ryan Sickler? No, I remember that. I remember us. We watched that. Yeah, it was just somebody's house. In my mind, though, all lizard people are that guy who's just like, <laughs> no, they're cool. They're great. They love. I, I mean, yeah. Like e everyone who has lizards in my mind is like the Tiger King. <laughs> I've not seen it. It's that. the same. I've not seen it. Oh, dude, you're not ready for it. <laughs> That's You've not seen it? I couldn't watch more than one at a time. I was like, this is one of those those rare things where <laughs> I've you've seen it and I haven't. 
<laughs> I know that's super rare, but honestly, try to watch two episodes back to back. It's it's I I defy you to do it because it is so <laughs> insane. I'll have to check it out. It's honest. It's, it's one of the crazier things ever. Let's do one more. Well, I will say the reason I have it, I've never like I, but I've heard so much about it that I'm kind of like I kind of get the gist of it. But then you're not the only person. I think my friend John, like somebody else, have told me they're like the same thing. They're like you're not ready. I, like it'll it'll probably melt your mind if you try and if you try. <laughs> so they're like you, I don't know if your brain can can handle how ridiculous it is. It's too. I don't even like it. Like I would watch it and go, oh, okay. I mean, let's wait for to watch the next one. It's it, it's it's it, because you know what it is. It's so American. Uh, it's like the most Yahoo. Like only fucking America are they doing that shit. You'll see. Watch it. <laughs> You'll see. You'll fucking see. <laughs> You'll let's see. one in here. Let's open up four lands. Let's do one and get on out. All right, let's do it. Uh, Indonesian woman mm-hmm. claims that gust of wind impregnated her. Of course. Making her give birth within one hour of getting pregnant. Holy shit. Magic happened. Now, is it true? The only thing I could think of, was it that some guy got shot in the testicles and then the bullet went to some woman's womb and that? I think, yeah, the son of a gun. It's where son of a gun supposedly came from. Is that a thing or that's just some fucking guy got inventive and started writing weird erotic, like Civil War erotica? Yeah, I don't, I think, did they, did they try and bust that on Mythbusters back in the day? How did they test it? (laughs) It may not have been Mythbusters. It was now some- listen, honey. <laughs> this is going to hurt. Sit way down there. I'm going to shoot you in the pussy. <laughs> well, not in the pussy. <laughs> Why? You'd have to shoot him in like the ovaries. Oh, yeah. It's not going to go. I mean, if you got a bullet. If yes. you got a bullet. You- <laughs> it's not going to get there on its own. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> if you're making babies the normal way, you're shooting in the pussy. But you're up there a bit, and then, then nature takes its course. You're up into your gun. You're <laughs> got a gun. It's going to get up there. <laughs> Oh, they're not doing that. They're not putting the gun up in there. And then, good jeez, good lord, <laughs> God, damn! That, that, took, that took even a minute for me to feel like, what are you even talking about? That's terrible. No, it, it was the f- idea that it, it like somehow, yeah, like you said, like it went through a man's testicles and then hit a woman in the in the stomach and like went into her ovary and impregnated her. Right. Something like that. But I think I think they, as we can probably just all by running that scenario through our heads, can call bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, I would say that's very, very, very <laughs> unlikely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just like this I mean, this woman, she just was, I mean, who knows why she was pregnant, but she wasn't proud of it or she didn't want to. But you can't come up with a better story. You've got, yeah. I mean, of all the things, it's just been like the wind blew and did now, it. Now, is it? Indonesia a Muslim country? Because it might be one of those things mm-hmm. where it's like improper, or like she was, you know, like she got, uh, so like she's gonna get tried under Sharia law or something. Like she has to make up a story, what even if it's fucking crazy, because uh, it's better than if yeah, cl- you know what I mean. Like the reality of yeah, I had sex with someone. They're like, oh, I'll fucking dare you? But you drove a fucking car to go there too. And it's kind of like mass delusion where they're like, even in their heads, they're like. Yeah, that probably didn't happen, but it's better than if she just went and had sex with someone. So we're all going to just agree that it was the wind, right? And everybody goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the wind. Yeah, the wind's real sexy. Yeah. And then they just they just let it, <laughs> they just let it let it go. <laughs> like no one no one dwells on it. Like no no no, it was the wind. But making her give birth within one hour of getting pregnant. I mean, that makes me think of that like that that TLC show that like, got pregnant and I didn't know it or whatever. I don't know. I mean, it's a better name. I just got a catchier name than that. But let's suppose women who are like, they carry a baby to full term without even knowing they're pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I know what you're talking about. And then, and then it's like, like, I just thought I had to have a big poop. And then I had, there was a baby in the toilet. I, I made, I made Mike's wife a little angry with me one time. I mean, she just got annoyed. <laughs> I brought that up while she was super pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, yeah, I know I'm pre- like, I, yeah, right. <laughs> like she didn't, she didn't mm-hmm. appreciate the mention of like, yeah, this woman had no idea they went about their lives. She was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think one, one of the, the that said it happened, she was like morbidly obese or something. That, yeah. There's a logic to that, I guess. There, there, I guess there could be a logic that if you just, but it's like one of those things. It's like, you don't know your, you don't know your body. Like when you start feeling weird, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, also your period stops. I mean. And you have a, a whole fucking person in you. Like that's. <laughs> that, I if mean, you're real big, I guess. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Once again, yeah. It's something we'll never know, Sam. We'll never experience. We'll ne- but We'll never experience. So we, no. uh, <laughs> we can't speak on how it feels to be pregnant. But uh, this has been a really weird. Uh, <laughs> This episode, we're just like putting our foot squarely in our mouth. Mike actually just recently had a kid, and uh, oh, he did. You know, yeah, he had another boy. Oh. And you know how Daphne's brother Benny, yeah, he's like the biggest Taiwanese guy I've ever met. Yeah, like he's he's probably a good six feet, and he's a big boy. Yeah, and whatever gene that made him like that, this baby has because like the doctors diagnosed the baby as giant baby. 
Like on his medical chart, it just said like giant baby. And he's just this enormous bastard of a kid. Like he's just like this. That's super fun. Big boy. <laughs> giant baby just right on his certificate <laughs> diagnosed what are we clicking here what do you want to click who the wind nah uh ultimate test of love we can learn about that chain there's that one there was one there was another one that that kind of break the chain can't break what's that song <laughs> fleetwood mac da, da, da. yeah how's that go i can't remember never break the chain never break the suck it suck it on chili dough chili dough suck it on a I can't. I can't stop thinking of lyrics. I know. I, dude. I honestly, that I, that's how I go to sleep now. <laughs> like it lulls me to sleep. I just think of a song. I try to sing it. <laughs> suck it. Suck, suck on a dog. <laughs> no, anyway, okay. So, so there was another one in there that that tickled my fancy. Uh, three days with family. Three days with girlfriend. Take one day off. Mm, no, there was tattooed cat, limping dog. It may have been tattooed cat, just because I wanted to know what the, how they tattooed it. Like the intricacies. Like, what, like like how do you go into tattooing a cat? You want to do tattooed cat over chain, chain of love? You know, Sam, <clears throat> I still have one of those <laughs> extra <laughs> extra cards. Remember, we put it in the. We, I put it back in my pocket. All right, well, okay, I'll click chain a cat. I'll, no, no, wait, I didn't chain the cat. I would collect the tattoo. <laughs> Just merge them together I'm, into something that never happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll click the cat. Yeah, oh, okay. Or And then if it's not chill, if it's not a good one. Well, oh, dude, actually, they gave it a bad as like Egyptian scarab across its chest. Good Lord. Okay. It's a, Yeah, it's one of those skinless or hairless mm -hmm. cats. Dude, actually, it looks, it looks cool. <laughs> Uh, she sedated. Yeah, she posted photos of the sedated animal during the procedure. Her decision is labeled as animal cruelty, caused so much outrage that the story eventually made international news headlines. Yeah. But instead of backing up, she defended her decision, posted photos of the tattooed feline. Oh, uh, she's from Ukraine. I mean, the cat looks pretty cool. <laughs> Hold on. My girlfriend loves cats. Let's see her opinion. Do you think that cat looks cool? No. Are <laughs> uh, you heard it here first, folks? <laughs> Do you think people he should has a tattoo? Do you think people should tattoo cats? No. <laughs> oh well, not, I was wrong. Yeah. I, I I could I could I, I saw that coming. <laughs> that, that that I think I think most people would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you know what's so funny? If you saw that cat, you maybe wouldn't even like. It's honestly so crazy, you wouldn't believe it. You'd be like, what's up? Is, is that a has a tattoo? <laughs> you tattoo? You fucking lunatic! Did you tattoo your cat? Exactly. <laughs> And you know, it had no clue what happened. It's just like, what? Ugh. Huh? It's interesting. She she checked with a vet before giving him a tattoo, and they were fine with it. And the vet was present while they were doing the tattoo, so everything was under control. What fucking chuckle fucky vet was like, oh, yeah, I'll sign off on this. I, apparently in the Ukraine. it's I, if they're, they're, There's places that don't have the same standards as the ones they make up in America. <laughs> The ones they made, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's all made up. We just make shit up. I mean, I'm just going to say, the, the cat looks cool. It's got one of those scarabs <laughs> with like the, the wings. Oh, no, it's not a scarab. No, it looked kind of like an Egyptian scarab, but it's like a skull. It's like a it's like a a, a, ca a cow skull with like bug wings. It looks, it looks, I think it's supposed to be like, I'll send okay, you a yeah. picture. We'll, we'll post it up so people can, a cow skull with bug wings. Can, that sounds like something a little kid. I, I knew this guy in school. And he was always like, he couldn't wait till he turned 18 so he could get a tattoo. And the tattoo he wanted was just a bloodshot eyeball. And I was like, what? what I'm like, what, what? He's like, oh, wouldn't that be, that, that'd be so rad. Just have a blood, just have a <laughs> bloodshot eyeball. And I'm like, all right. A cow, a cow skull with bug wings and a bloodshot eyeball. <laughs> I'd love to talk to me back when I was in like junior high school and just have a conversation about what I thought was cool. Cause I was watching, I, uh, uh, Zach and I recently played back through Halo 1. We played like a one or two missions of Halo 1. Uh -huh. And I remember thinking that Master Chief, that Halo armor looks so fucking cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> it looks so dumb now. <laughs> Like it, the helmet, everything is so dumb. Like the newer stuff is kind of whatever, but like that original suit is late. I always just thought he looked like he was wearing like dirt bike gear or like yeah, he yeah, does. or like paintball gear. Paint yeah, yeah, paintball yeah. helmet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Yeah, that yeah. headline. Should we should we do the chain? I mean, you can if you want. I mean, we could see the ins and outs. Fuck it, do it. <laughs> hey, listen. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, uh, guess what? It's in the Ukraine. No way. Yeah, young Ukrainian couple. <laughs> Okay. A lot of grease from the Ukraine. Oh, dude, it's it's like there's no there's no there's no length. It's their two arms are chained together with absolute with the, and they're touching. Oh, oof. The goal is to literally be next to each other every month moment for the next three months because it's sleeping, bathing, and obviously even going to the toilet together. They answered all of our questions, and that one, that <laughs> they answered them all. 
Okay. Uh, young pair, they're confident that they'll be able to last the three months. They decide to call it quits before reaching their goal. They'll need someone to cut the chain off with a special cutting tool. Holy shit. So they went all in. They checked. Yeah, they checked with someone to claim that they were sane before accepting <laughs> to super, supervise their experiment. We're not crazy for doing this right. Uh. <laughs> Dude, they didn't just chain themselves. They had they had a guy weld it. Holy shit. It's they they hired a welder to weld them together. So they hired a this is, so they hired a welder to weld them together after they hired someone to say they're not crazy. For this. Dude, this is I mean, <laughs> their first challenge occurred on their way home from having the chain sealed, where they had to stop for a bathroom break. Now you know you, you and I rightly so we, we we touched on how that would be a challenge, but here's a here's mm -hmm. the thing: they were in a public toilet, so they had to decide: do we go to the men's toilet or the oh, women's toilet? Yeah, immediately. And they went to the ladies' room, which got a shocked reaction from the cleaning woman. <laughs> This this should be a show. Why isn't this a reality show? They should admit this should have just been a show. I think this is more fucked up than tattooing a cat. <laughs> it's fucked up in a different way. Yeah. What's going on? The, the, you, okay. All right, Ukraine. The, the Ukraine stepped it up this What week. I mean, though, is like at the end of this experiment, it's like, whatever. There's not even a cool picture. Like the cat looks cool. Yeah. This is like, okay. I mean, you guys just, you just sped up your breakup, basically. <laughs> It's so optimistic. And what's crazy, how are you getting your shirts on and off if your arms are tied together? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's still going. It started It started this February 14th. Okay. So we don't know what to do, but put a bookmark in that so we can come back and see if they made it. Yeah, I'll paste it right into the Discord. <laughs> That's been another episode of the Royal Wii. It's been a, I mean, it started slow. I was yeah, feeling a little I'm, lethargic and it kind of, the, the, the spirit of abuse you got in me. Yeah. You, you went and visited him on the beach. <laughs> I know. I, I was there with him. I want to thank Kishi Bosh for letting us use the song intro slash pathos pathos off the album 151. Hey, yeah. uh, if you guys want to send us headlines and you should, you guys can do that at Royal WeeCast on Twitter, <laughs> Royal WeeCast at gmail.com or even live at twitch.tv slash Royal WeeCast. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's it. That's the business. That's, that's the business. Don't, hey, listen guys, we're professionals don't do any of the things we talk about <laughs> yeah also uh all all opinions that you've heard on here in no way are the opinions of the management which makes no uh, sense because we are the management <laughs> shh, shh, shh. don't let the shh. <laughs> yeah. all right shut it down good night dad goodbye <laughs> okay bye hi i'm entree quality